Hi teachers and parents alike. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to use the remote control feature in Zoom with an iPad. So if a teacher is using Zoom, how a student can remote control the teacher's screen. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see, this is the view from the student's iPad. And the student has it in grid view. And what you can do here, I'm going to have the host go ahead and share the screen. There it is. So the host has shared the screen already. And as you can see, this is an activity in Boom Cards. Simple activity, just choose the correct answer. It'll just take a click to choose the answer. I love Boom Cards. This is great for our students. So I'm going to have the host go ahead and give control. And there it is. The control has been given. Instruct your student to tap on that circle. Once they tap on that circle, that mouse comes up. Once the mouse is up, instruct your student to hold it down for two seconds. And as you see, that cursor or marker or pointer comes up. And if you move it over, if you scroll it over, you can see it highlights the option being chosen. Instruct your students to hold it over the option they choose for two seconds. As you saw, it highlighted a little two seconds. One, two, let it go. And there you have it. Um, it'll do it. Again, you can see it highlighting. Choose the one you want. Here the banana, hold it down for two seconds. You'll see the highlight, there it is, let it go. Um, boom cards are an excellent activity for students who are deaf and hard of hearing. It's very interactive. Here is a simple language activity, choosing green. Hold it down for two seconds and let it go. So I know many have asked about drag and drop options. So I'm gonna have the host share a different screen. And if you notice, when the host shares a different screen, it automatically pauses the control. Just instruct your student to press the circle again. And here I'm gonna have the student press the circle again, in which case, well, in this case, it's me. I'm gonna press the circle again and the mouse will come up. Once the mouse comes up, hold the mouse down for two seconds and there goes the pointer or the cursor again. This activity is an instructions activity which is gonna require the student to drag so just bring the mouse over whichever item that you want. Add the red ninja after you add the pink ninja. So go to the red ninja. Have the student hold the mouse down again for two seconds until they're sure they've, hold, they've grabbed the item and drag it up. Here the ninja is going up into the square. Just have them let it go. They are now going to work on the pink ninja. So Hold it down for two seconds and you see the mouse is highlighted when I'm holding it down and drag it up. And then in this case, they don't need to drag the mouse all the way to the submit button. Um, I'm going to leave it up here and then I'm just going to go and click it. And if you see with their finger, if they just click it, the mouse automatically goes to that end. Add the yellow ninja before you add the green ninja. Here we're going to do it again. Hold it down, you see the mouse highlighted to indicate that I'm holding it down. Um, and here it is, it's easy to drag it from one place to another. I'm gonna go grab the green ninja. Again, holding it down, you see it highlights the mouse and then drop it, let it go. And again, I just had to click submit. I didn't have to um, drag the mouse over. So again, I'm gonna show you how you don't need to drag the mouse over to each one as you saw. Oh, let me hold it down. Hold it down, there you go, I've got it. And I'm gonna drag it up. Again, as you can see, I'm not dragging the mouse to the next ninja. I'll show you, I'm just gonna move my finger, tap my finger on the next ninja, and the mouse went over there on its own. Just remember the two second rule. There you have it, submit. So this is how you would give your students control who are using iPads. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions or need more clarification, please leave a comment. If you found it useful or helpful, please give it a like. Please look out for more videos that I'll be posting to help teachers who are new to remote learning using Zoom and for parents to help their students navigate remote learning. Thank you.